that's a real spa. Salus per aquam, wellness through the water. Hello, I'm Mirta, your official tour guide in Rome. Today, I'm going to take you to the ruins of the ancient city of Rome in one of the most surprising archaeological sites of the city. Are you ready to start the journey? The Bath of Caracalla, built in the 3rd century AD, is the best preserved imperial bath in Rome. Bath building was a common feature in the Roman Empire. In Rome, uh, there was hundreds of balnea for a population of 1 million people and they provided cheap access to hygiene and relax. Some of them was free, provided by the government or by patrons and didn't need to be particularly elaborate. But the imperial bath, the ones sponsored by the emperors, were very few and very different. They was called Terme and could house a thousand people at the same time, providing extensive amenities in a lavish context. It was so expensive to build that really only the emperor could afford it. Since the early 2nd century AD, the imperial bath had the same format. A big structure set in a rectangular compound with the main building in the middle. All was set within gardens and parkland. There was several small swimming pools, bath of different temperatures, dry and wet heat room, message rooms, exercises room or gym, but even meeting hall, reading rooms, libraries, stores and food vendors. There was a lot of spaces, but the main purpose was the bath itself. The water came through a spore from one of the main aqueduct, the Aqua Marcia. The main bathing room was aligned one another as following. Natatio, Frigidarium, Tepidarium, Calidarium. The exercises room or palestre was basically two and symmetrically disposed one at each side of the main structure. They was huge and organized on two levels. The upper terrace was sustained by massive marble columns and the floor was covered with mosaics. The main swimming pool, or natatio, was directly accessible by the local room called Apoditerium. It was one of the most impressive areas of the whole complex. There was statues in the niches framed with columns and waterfalls on the other side. The frigidarium, the cold water room, was absolutely monumental. It is in the center of the building, a big hall covered with three grown vaults set in place by eight columns of Egyptian grey granite. The calidarium was a roundish structure covered with a 36 meters width dome, just a few meters smaller than the one of the Pantheon. The calidarium was basically a sauna. Walking through the remains, very few ornamental decoration is still preserved, but there was plenty in antiquity. Among the hundreds of colossal statues, which are supposed to be used as a decoration, the most notable are the Hercules and the so-called Farnese Bull, 4 meters tall, from the Easter Gym. They are actually housed in the National Archaeological Museum of Naples. The Imperial Bath Terme was huge and monumental in style, richly provided with decoration, statuary, frescoes, marble walls, mosaic floors. The Bath of Caracalla are not simply functional buildings, but they were even intended to be attractive. Caracalla was the son of the Emperor Septimius Severus. He was a megalomaniac and he built the largest imperial bath structure. 
nowadays only the structure is partially preserved. The decoration is almost totally gone. But we can still dream about its preciousness and beauty. <laughs>